thank you for giving us a few minutes of your time to talk to you about the American Legion. Whether you are an old soldier, currently being discharged or separated from active duty, or still on active duty, we think you'll find this information very useful to you and we hope you'll consider joining our ranks and helping to defend and maintain the benefits that you have earned. As veterans of the armed forces serving during a period of conflict, we want you to know that we understand where you've been. We've been in your shoes. It doesn't matter what your duties were or where you were stationed. You did what Uncle Sam wanted you to do. You've completed your service honorably and you are eligible to join our ranks. Whether you were on ship, whether you worked in a hospital, whether you were ever overseas or deployed, you've fulfilled your obligation and you've provided a value. If you don't know much about our organization, it was founded in 1919 by a group of doughboys getting ready to come home from France following World War I. They knew that their fathers and grandfathers had served in prior conflicts and suffered infirmities and that the government wasn't taking care of them. Weapons of mass destruction were nothing new to them. They had seen nerve gas, mustard gas, they'd seen amputees from trench foot and problems that would be lifelong infirmities afflicting their comrades and they, they knew the government had no provisions to make sure that they would receive the benefits due them. When the Doughboys got back to the states, their first task was to petition Congress for a charter. Then later during the 1930s, they finally convinced the government to create the Veterans Administration. A network of hospitals was opened up across the country to care for the infirmities of their comrades and to see after the widows and orphans of the fallen soldiers. At the outset of World War II, the Legionnaires knew that their comrades returning from the war fronts would need jobs, education, and housing. So once again, the battle lines were drawn and they went back to Congress. But this time, they got the other veteran service organizations like the VFW and the DAV to go with them. It took several years, but eventually the GI Bill of Rights was created and signed by the President by the end of the World War II era. Known as the Big Four, the veteran service organizations consisting of the American Legion, the DAV, the VFW, and more recently AMVETS still continue to lobby Congress for veterans benefits. Now everybody knows that your American Legion post has cold beer and that's fine taken in moderation but we want you to also know that the Legion family invites your wives, sons, and daughters to be active in the post. There are a lot of activities geared around family programs. Plus, there are always parties, dances, ball games, bowling leagues. Your Legion post is whatever you make of it. We want you to participate and be active and feel like you are indeed a part of the Legion family. When you go to your Legion post to join in the activities, whether it be a Friday night dinner, a bingo game, or perhaps a Valentine's Day dance, you'll find that the ladies auxiliary and the sons are involved with the Legion actively raising funds to help support our many programs. They also collectively join in our lobbying efforts and other legislative issues and support our committees through their activities. Continued service to the community, state, and nation are paramount to the Legionnaire. The photo you see is of a small county courthouse in central Indiana. Every Memorial Day, the veterans organizations join together to remember the war dead. Programs like this only exist and will continue because of our service. Whether it's leading a 4th of July parade or having a Veterans Day dinner at the local post. If we don't continue these programs, if we're not the ones going out and doing the veterans funerals across the nation, 
then the traditions will not continue. We realize that young people just getting off active duty don't have a lot of time to serve at the local legion post. But it doesn't matter if you are able to attend meetings or if you participate in a lot of these programs now. One day in the future they will mean a lot to you and you will step forward in our footprints. When we do demobilizations at the local army camp, we find that over 90 percent, very high numbers, of the soldiers have fathers and grandfathers who also serve. They are maintaining and carrying on a family tradition. Now conversely, their children and grandchildren will follow in their footsteps. If we don't get the new blood that we need into our ranks and start teaching the kids of today what is going on in our nation and how to maintain these values, they will disappear and will not be there in the future. Many of our Legion programs revolve around the youth of America. For example, our flag education program. At the local post level, volunteers take coloring books to elementary fourth graders. They're taught about how to respect, honor, and display the American flag and why you've defended it. They also learn about how to properly retire a flag. If you've never seen a flag retirement ceremony, I would encourage you to visit your local Legion Post Flag Day. One of our other youth programs is the Eagle Scout of the Year competition. An Eagle Scout can enter a competition locally at the post level, advance to the district, and go on to state. And if he's successful, can enter the national competition where he could earn or win a $10,000 college scholarship. We also have oratorical contest and Boys and Girls State programs, which Boys and Girls State is a crash course and live-in week at college or university and learn about how government operates, has to elect a governor and legislators and draft bills and pass legislation. These are very worthwhile and interesting programs and we encourage you to go to our website and learn more about them. We also have a lot of other committees that affect you and your family directly. For example, Child Welfare Foundation and Children's Miracle Network programs are available to help the kids across the nation and in your local community. Veterans Employment, uh, Veterans Rehabilitation programs exist throughout the nation to help assure that um, your comrades are taken care of in their time of need. The POW and MIE committees are very active in making sure that remains are returned to their families whenever there is a loss or in trying to assist to make sure that uh, prisoners are released from the current conflict. We also have a program to acknowledge and recognize our local heroes. The Firefighter and Law and Order program recognizes the efforts of the men and women who serve in the local communities. Our new level at the EMT or EMS paramedic recognition program will begin during the 2006 calendar year. This is a way that we can acknowledge the successes and the the uh, dedication of these people out working every day to help preserve our way of life. When you consider all the committees that we've already discussed, it sounds like we're pretty busy, and we are. But we also have programs like the Family Support Network, Temporary Financial Assistance Program, and our Homeless Veterans Task Force. These combine to help make sure that a lot of problems of the past do not repeat themselves. Any given night in the U.S., there are upwards of 350 to 400,000 homeless veterans on the streets. We've got to stop this trend. Whether it be through financial assistance or supporting the family of a soldier while they're on active duty, it is our job to curtail a lot of these problems that have plagued us in the past. So far we've told you how a lot of our programs help everyone else. 
but we want you to know that we have programs to assist you, the veteran, also. You don't have to be a member of the American Legion or any other service organization to get the benefits and the assistance that you are entitled to. Each post and district have volunteer service officers ready to help you. At most federal buildings, you'll find professional, trained, qualified service officers to help you prepare claims and to represent you at appeals or hearings with the VA. You can always find a service officer through the Legion website or visit a local post and ask for assistance if you need it. You can't let your pride stop you from obtaining the services to help you and your family so you don't become a statistic. When a lot of us got out of the service, we didn't know anything about our VA benefits. That's one reason why we're doing this program now. We want to make sure that the kids getting off active duty now are fully aware of all of their rights and the entitlements due them. The service officers will help file claims no matter what your age or no matter what your condition might have been. If you need help or think you have a claim and you wish to have professional assistance, we urge you to file for disability compensation and let our people help you out. In conjunction with service-connected compensation, a lot of people don't realize that there are also VA programs to make sure that veterans who served during a period of war are able to survive day to day if they have a catastrophic illness or injury befall them. A lot of people live from paycheck to paycheck and it doesn't take much for them to conceivably end up on the streets and have a lot of difficulty providing for themselves. If you need help, talk to our service officers and tell them that you've heard about the non-service connected pension program. These benefits are paid to help the infirmed and disabled or elderly veterans all across the country. You may qualify for these benefits even if you've been de denied by the Social Security Administration. You can get a lot more information about many of the things that we've discussed already and, and much more if you'll go to our Legion website. Uh, we have links on there to help you not only find service officers, but to hook you up to the website for the Veterans Administration, um, to find other veteran service organizations or service officers to assist you. Um, you can also join the American Legion on the website if you wish. Um, we encourage you to visit the site and consider joining us and learn more about your benefits and current issues through your state newspaper and uh, the National Legion magazine that you'll receive once you're a member. There are a lot of benefits and programs that we're sure you're not aware of uh, and would like for you to take full advantage of, if at all possible, because you have earned them. Remember there are Legion posts all over this great land of ours, and your American Legion membership card entitles you to visit any of them. It doesn't matter what post you belong to, or where you're perhaps stationed currently. Your Legion card can be an avenue to give you somewhere to go and um, friends while you travel. We encourage you to participate and be as active as you can, but it's also a great place to meet your buddies and just have a cold beer and sit back and relax or swap war stories. Um, we're the people that you can talk to and relate when your wife has heard that one war star of yours um, way too many times and really doesn't understand what you're talking about. So join in with us and stop by often. Thanks for giving us a little bit of your time. And we want to know that we really appreciate your service and that you're welcome among the Legion family. Come on down for a tour visit one of our dinners, come down as a guest, um, participate in many of our programs um, as you have time. We encourage you to go to the website and ask your buddies if they know anything about the American Legion. 
you don't have to drink you don't have to mix in or attend any meetings if you don't have time you make your legion experience what you want it to be but I can guarantee you once you find your calling in the American Legion and you get involved you will thoroughly enjoy it it is a very rewarding experience thank you all again and take care we'll see you at the post